Quinn. This is Aku, and today I'm representing Operation Black Independence, uh, where we do more before 7 a.m. than most conscious people do all day. Because black liberation is more than just talking, studying, reading, and eating vegetables. You're actually going to have to roll up your sleeves and get dirty. You're actually going to have to put in some physical labor. Anyway, I digress. Uh, today, we cleared our land a little bit right here, and we brought in our cinder block. You saw us do a couple of videos on our ancestors' temporary building techniques. Many of our ancestors, where they would use the same resources over and over and over again in different ways. So I like cinder blocks because they're sturdy and they're not going to break down. So many of these cinder blocks we've had for years, and some of them we just uh, accumulated this year. All right. So this is going to double as a raised bed, and it's going to also be a uh, cold frame. All right. We can convert it also into a mini greenhouse. So it's going to serve many different purposes. It's August the 19th, and many people may think that, you know, gardening is over. But when you're growing for survival, you want to continuously produce um, year-round if possible. All right, so while you can't grow your summer fruits that we all like to grow and eat so much, you can grow your fall and even winter vegetables. And that's going to include uh, your chard, your kale, your spinach and some lettuce. All right, we'll be able to grow all of that right in here. But right here, what we're really gonna grow in this area is just kale and spinach, all right? Because they're, they're winter hardy. So they are gonna last all the way through the, the winter as long as we protect, uh, protect them right. All right, so the final steps on this, we just need to add the final two cinder blocks here. Then you're going to need some organic potting, uh, I'm sorry, some organic garden soil because this is not a pot. We're going straight in the ground with this. All right, we did uh, protect the ground, add like a little weed barrier down there so the weeds can't come up through or they'll have a very difficult time doing so. All right, one note when you're buying, purchasing garden soil, you want to make sure you read and shop, compare the prices, pay attention to what you're doing, all right? Um, one bag of garden soil from the same company, same type of soil, uh, a, let's see, two cubic feet was $12, all right? But then you saw one cubic feet of the same type of garden soil, the same brand and everything, that was $5. Okay, so you go ahead and buy the two and you save a couple dollars. All right, that's just a side note. All right, so next thing you want to do is just pour your organic garden soil mix. It's already been pre-made. So if you go to one of your big hardware stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, or maybe even Ace, you can find it's already pre-made. So it does kind of make your work a little easier. I can't use the garden soil that we already have because it's, all, it's being in use. It's being used right now. So we're still growing our cucumbers, our tomatoes, our, man, you name it, we're growing. Right, so just pump that in. This is one and a half cubic feet. And I have two bags. So that's going to be three cubic feet. Um, with the cinder block, we don't need to use that heaver. You see, I'm sitting on it. I'm about one eight. All right. This is going to be enough garden soil to last us the whole winter. But I 
am going to come back and add one more uh, one and a half cubic foot bag to this. All right, so I have four and a half cubic feet for my plants to grow in here. All right. Another note, another thing you want to do is always be on the lookout because many Americans are very wasteful and they throw away perfectly good items that can be used or reused. Everything is not meant for the garden. So um, we saw a door company fixing a glass that was slightly damaged. And it was this one right here, slightly damaged. And they were about to talk. So I said, what are you going to do with that? They said, we're about to get rid of it. I said, I'll take it. So this is going to act as a top for your garden spring. So it's going to protect your seedlings as they come up as they mature from the wildlife that might want to get in there and feed on. All right, and all you do is just lay it on top, like so. That's all you do. So after you plant, first you want to water your soil, that is. I don't know if you can see me, but first you want to water your soil deeply and thoroughly. Then you want to plant your seeds, then you put your plexiglass on top. And that's it. You want to keep it water, make sure it stays moist until those seedlings start coming through. Right. Um, and that's all it is to it. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but today is August the 19th. Um, it's not the end of the growing season. It's still going to be super, super, super hot today. So, we planted this intentionally under this tree. I don't know if you can see it in the background. We put it under this tree so it can be protected from the, uh, by the shade. All right, so I think that's about it. I just wanted to share with you, again, our temporary building technique of many of our ancestors and the fact that now's the time to prepare for your fall garden. You don't want to wait until it's fall. You got to prepare right now at the end of the summer or towards the end of the summer. This has been Dr. Peace.